Our strategy, community organizing, or unleashing the power of the people to act on their own behalf and to take control of their own destiny is needed now more than ever. Indeed, every benefit that poor and working people have enjoyed in this country has been won by a people's movement. American history demonstrates this point. In the New Deal, the labor movement, direct community action, and a host of other activities brought about the New Deal. And the Civil Rights Movement was organized by churches, community groups, and led by the consummate community organizer, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And here in Los Angeles in the 70s, African Americans, Latinos, Jews, and progressive whites joined together to desegregate Los Angeles' schools. And today, 2008, in the here and now, some of our friends that are in the room organized a green jobs campaign to bring living wage jobs to poor people in Los Angeles that will also improve the environment. And on the electoral front, and we're going to sing it all night long. On the electoral front, just down the block, in, on the third floor at City Hall, we have one of our own occupying the mayor's office at this moment. And in Sacramento, in the assembly, the second most powerful person in the state, one of our own, our founder, Assembly Speaker Karen Bass. And in just 11 days, and I know y'all are counting, in just 11 days and 10 nights, we expect that Barack Obama will be elected President of the United States. He will be the first person of color ever, the first progressive in over a generation, and the first community organizer to occupy the White House. So your support for our cause and our strategy is more beneficial and more pressing now than ever. As our nation begins to reshape its priorities and redefine the role of government. For years we were told that the market could solve all of our problems. And that if the market couldn't solve the problem, it wasn't worthy of resolution. In fact, we saw just this morning one of the biggest advocates of this philosophy backtrack. Greenspan said, I thought the market could take care of it all, but I'm seeing now that the market can't even take care of itself. And so now that the United States has shelled out at least a trillion dollars, and everybody who's an expert says that's the small number, at least a trillion dollars to bail out about 1% of our population and restore their wealth. Since the country hasn't invested this large sum of money, maybe, just maybe, $250 billion to provide health care for every woman, man, and child won't seem like such a big number. Maybe we can figure out how we can stop having our citizens sleep on our streets every night in the United States and children going to bed hungry. And just maybe, just maybe, if South Central Youth Empowered Through Action has something to say about it, we can finally provide a quality education to each and every one of our children, no matter what side of the border they were born on or what side of the freeway they were born on. And so you see this challenge provides us with an opportunity to begin to define the future in our image for the benefit of our people, to take our rightful place among decision makers, bring our people together, and build on our tradition of struggle to win the people's agenda in this day and in this time. Thank you so much.